Well, hey there guys, uh, hello fellow YouTubers, uh, Alton McFall here, aka Retro Old School. It's a nice looking morning here in Montreal. It's very rare that I ever do any kind of drawing or painting like this time in the morning. It's only like 10 something in the morning. Uh, but the days are so goddamn short this time of year. I mean, today being what, December 20th, four days away from my birthday. Uh, that I'm like, yeah, well, you know, when you live in a shitty dark apartment like I do, well, shitty, depends how you see it, but uh, shitty in the sense that there's lack of, you know, light. Uh, I figured I might as, well, might as well take advantage of this light here, and, uh, which will help me to do some work on this uh, drawing because, because it's just, uh, as you saw the, the first part of this drawing, well, it's just, you know, God, I had four lights on it. It still wasn't to my satisfaction, frankly, even with the settings on the camera set up the way they were. Um, and before I draw, I just want to give you guys a quick overview here. Uh, if you're in Montreal, if you're coming to Montreal, if you're uh, uh, looking for a last-minute uh, Christmas gift or birthday gift or whatnot, uh, uh, you want something uh, trans transportation-related, uh, well, you come on down and uh, I'll make a deal with you on one of my original photos or vintage ads, as you see here, or artwork, drawings, paintings. I got no lack of stuff. That's not really for sale, that one right there with the chicks in the metro. There's a story behind that one. But, um, anyway, I got a lot of cool stuff. Um, and things, uh, as I always tell people who come over here, I have things that are priced to sell. This 1949 Fraser ad, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be taking out tonight or tomorrow because I need the frame, so that is going to be for sale, uh, Sometimes zoom on Kijiji. And the models aren't for sale. Anyway, so I'm going to set this up there and uh, I'll get cracking. Because there's other stuff I want to do today. I got to go get a haircut. Then I got to, uh, I want to try to go do some train spotting. I need some train material. And uh, yeah, I still have this drawing for sale. Which is what, uh, the reason why I got inspired to uh, uh, make this series of, you know, where you would watch me draw versus watch me paint because the painting is so much longer to do so I don't I'm hesitant on doing a watch me paint kind of thing so so I'll set this up and we'll get cracking okay now well, this should do it All right. okay so I was thinking about I was thinking about what car would I put next to this Porsche. So I got this, uh, well, you know, Crown Victoria. So again, for those of you who have watched part one or my other drawings, you're not familiar with me. I'm a visually impaired artist. I'm a self-taught artist. I'm 40. I'm going to be 43 in uh, four days. So I've been drawing for most of my life, and uh, this didn't come overnight. I'm not tracing anything. There's no pictures around or anything. Uh, so. Everything is coming from memory. So I was thinking, what would I put next to this Porsche here? You know, that's uh, not American, something, you know, something simple, kind of a cheap car, just a little bit too, not, not something, not something uh, very uh, distracting, you know, like a Cadillac or something. So I don't know, I'm thinking about that. In the meantime, put a little more, uh, a little more emphasis on our Porsche here. You know what, let's, let's fix those wheels up a little more. Let's make them look a little bit more like the originals, you know, black. Yeah, that's cool.
Mm, right on. Okay, and if I want to, I was thinking about taking this a little bit further, you know, in terms of the, you know, like the paint shine, just like this, just, you know, just fun. This is really like animation style, you know, cartoon style type of art. It's not supposed to be look like, it's supposed to look like somewhat realistic, you know. You know what, over here I thought to myself, ah, oh, maybe I'll just put like a, just put like a Camry, you know? Like a Camry like my mom had. Like, as a matter of fact, I saw one yesterday. I would have filmed it, but it was, it was rusty. It was a uh, typical, uh, just like my mom's, 87 to uh, 89, lining. You know. Yeah, typical Japanese cars of the time, eh? Just big, large taillights. Always large taillights. Always safe. It's funny because I thought about putting a K car in a K car. Uh, the taillights were, in a, were not as big, I don't think, you know? Then you, So you got your tail brake light here, and then over here you would have your, um, your amber light, you know, your auxiliary light, turn signal light. And of course, in those years of the Camry, just like in the generation before that, the bumpers that were monochrome, the same, which means the same color as the body, that was actually on a higher model. That was on the LE, but the base model actually had the black rubber bumpers. So there you go. Let me put a little shadowing for that. Okay, well, it doesn't, okay, maybe I made the tail too big, whatever, you know, it's just, you get the idea. And, of course, I do my usual pavement my own way here, again, with this, you know, what's known as a cross pattern type of sketching, drawing, whatever. Just like that. Nice, quick. Yeah, you know, in hindsight, that doesn't look like a Camry at all. <laughs> it looks like a Japanese car, but... Oh, man. I, I made the taillights way too big, like too tall this way. Jesus. I mean, the Porsche is pretty good. You know, it's funny, because after I did this Porsche, it occurred to me that the, uh, the mistake I made, which, unfortunately, when you're drawing a pen, as long as I have, 
you can't you can't correct too easily. See, what I did wrong was that pillar. What's that called? The B pillar. It's, it, it, I said it looked like a. I said that this car looked like a beetle or a new beetle because the A pillar on the Porsche 911 is angled. So, you know, it's actually it's supposed to be like this. So, I'm gonna try to see if I can fix it a bit. Let's see if we can put this a little bit kind of a darker tint. I was uh, motivated to uh, to draw this because one of the guys I'm subscribed to there, Doug Demuro, he featured the the ultimate 911 collectible, the most highest prize 911, the rarest one, the most valuable one ever made, which was really really originally made for racing, but is the 959, and the 959 can't be mistaken for a regular Porsche because it was made for a wider track of wheels, so therefore the fender flares are way out. They stick way out, like inches wider than the standard size. There's other things too, you know, in terms of a beefed up suspension, I think the motor as well. But it's, uh, there was that, and also because uh, I also have some vintage, uh, you know, road and track magazines from the 80s that were given to me uh, last year, and uh, there's, there's articles in Porsche, uh, you know, articles and, and ads for Porsches, 911 Carreras, and like, yeah, you know. But I think when I, when I do my own take on, on, on this type of car, because it is definitely one of the most beautiful designs, let alone sexy, ever made, frankly, you know. I'm not too pleased with my taillights, though. I think, uh, made them look like their 70s taillights, I think. Hmm. Also, another error I made on this car is right here, is that the trunk, sorry, the hood, or whatever you want to call it for the motor, does actually close. And I didn't put the emblem over here, so... I don't know, this is a bit of a kibosh on my part, I guess. But that's what's fun about drawing, is you can, you can tweak things a bit, you can fix things a bit so they don't look as bad as they could be, you know? Dude, let me see what I'm doing here, just making things a little darker. You know, I remember going back, you know, almost 20 years or more, I should say 20 years or more when, when there were cars, there were still cars around with those rubber black bumpers and how they look like shit over time. Um, you know, because when they were new, they had a shine to them, but over the years, they just faded and got like just flat like a paint, like a paint job that aged and it just looked terrible. So uh, they were not... Uh, like my, <clears throat> like when I lived in Ville Saint Pierre, my mom had her Camry up until uh, she had her '89 Camry until uh, hmm, '95, '96, 
something like that and and uh, the neighbor next door almost he had a Camry also he had an 87 or 88 and it was a it was a brown wagon and uh, I know I had a shit pile of miles on it but it had those ugly rubber those black bumpers but you know it's funny because if you would see one of these cars today with those bumpers regardless if it's a Camry or a, a Honda Accord it's kind of a, a bit of a novelty to see that you know it's kind of kind of neat because that it's not common anymore at all now they you know, for many years now, all these these cars you buy them, they they come with those monochromatic bumpers, eh? So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put in the background. I thought about putting like kind of a beach kind of a setting, you know, something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, pretty cool. I even thought about coloring this, but I don't have a, I don't have a red marker. I, I, cause I thought about doing it something else, but I don't, I, the markers I have left are not in good shape. And, uh, anyway, I would like to do this red because, uh, I would do it red because of the fact that most of these were sold red. Or, so it would seem anyway, you know. Stop this for a moment. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I think we're gonna. We're gonna. Uh, what, we, what's with this we business? Why do people always say we when they're when they're only doing one thing by themselves, and nobody else around? You know, nobody else doing it. It's always this we business, including people that don't exist, or including people that aren't there for real, or you know. You get the idea. I don't know. Well, I just got an email from a guy who was supposed to come over and look at my uh, vintage uh, black label beer ads there. He said he's going to come over and look at it. I don't like the idea of that. It's like, that's kind of sketch to me. You know? I mean, because most people, 99% of people who come over to buy something, they buy it. They don't come over to look at it, you know. But this is not a store here. So, uh, you know, I'm sure he's going to buy them, but it's like, uh, you know. Hey, everybody's different, you know, it's like that song, people are people now, can't you see, you know? <clears throat> I think I'm going to do that beach thing, actually, <clears throat> yeah, beachfront, uh, beachfront thing, because, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, I wanted to do just something simple and kind of different, you know, so, put a couple of people in there, you know, yeah. Yeah. Just giving it a little bit more of a tone to the to the pavement. This is the pavement. <clears throat> Don't worry about the ink and a pen running out. I got another one. <laughs> saying, you know, this triangle will be for sale.
<clears throat> the only thing that sucks is sitting here like this because the stupid floors are crooked. The floor is sloping downward like like this, so it's like it's harder on my. To be, I, I put myself in this position rather than being here because I wanted to be closer to the to the light from the window. <clears throat> but uh, what's the matter? I feel like a smoker this morning, and uh, <clears throat> but it's it's making me sit uh, forcing myself to be hunched over more. I don't like that because uh, ugh, because um, it's hurting my stupid hernia. people in there the distance And you see, like, this dude is so far away in the picture, it's like, it's not even a big deal about the details, frankly, you know? And I'll put some, uh, <coughs> see if I can put some chick with him. But again, <coughs> what's the matter with me this morning? My God, it's all this groggy throat, I, like when I was a smoker kind of a thing, you know? Yeah, you get the idea, right? <clears throat> you know. Let's see, I can put like a... No, bro. kind of thing going on here. Do you even put like a little cargo ship in the background? Hmm, see? Continue that right there, just like this. Whoa. Put a little bit of sand in here. <clears throat> I can put a couple of clouds in here, just like this. 
just something really, really simple. Three cars, might as well put three floats, huh? So, how am I going to do this water? That's, that's a question. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put it like this. Like I've said before about art, the, one of the most beautiful aspects of art, there's so many beautiful aspects and wonderful aspects of art, is that it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be perfectly logical. We're not talking about, you know, I mean, I always strive for perfection, but not when it comes to doing something like this. This is not about perfection. This is just having fun and making something that represents the past, you know, vehicles. Little homage, you know, just like doodling, sketching, as somebody had suggested for me to to, to do this. Oh, and by the way, I want to uh, send a, a thank you to somebody recently who sent me a a nice sum of a donation. There, a fellow Canadian. I don't remember who you are. I think it's Matthew or something. I don't know, uh, but anyway, really greatly appreciated. Uh, you know who you are, and uh, very much appreciate. Thank you very much. And uh, since, um, yeah, revenue from my YouTube videos has gone down, if you like my videos uh, and you want to send me something, uh, you can use my email, which is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. And you can send me a PayPal payment if you're in the U.S. or overseas. Or if you're in Canada, better yet, you can even send me a, uh, a payment uh through Interact, Interact e-transfer, which is a bank transfer. Again, my email is Elton, E-L-T-O-N, McFall, M-C-F-A-L-L, at hotmail.com. And I thank you very much in advance, very much appreciated. I'm still thinking about resetting up that, that Patreon account, but I just, I don't know, I didn't like what I, was, what I was in, I just didn't get really get it, you know. So I'm going to have to look, at, look into this again, I think, you know. I know I'm not the most uh, I'm not the most open-minded person there is. So, okay, I put the water a little too dark, but you know what? I don't like it like this. Mind you, the sky ideally should be like darker.
it's just to give this drawing, you know, a little more depth. You know, depth, depth, depth. in three parts but I'm like nah you know what um because there's I still have to paint I still have to finish my 38 Chevy painting and I thought I was going to be able to finish it a few days ago but turns out that grill work alone is just driving me nuts it's just so intricate and uh I want it to look like you know close to perfect everything is going to be conducive on that that is where I'm, I'm a perfectionist completely you know so uh it's that's going to be wrapping up soon there I know um uh, Jeanette, if you're watching this, well, we'll get to see it soon enough. Finished. One thing I hate about this, I don't feel like doing this whole pavement, like, you know. Um, you know what I'm tempted to do? I'm almost tempted to just do this a little bit more up to, let's say, here, and then just cut this part out. No, I can't do that. Anyway, you know what, uh, you know, I was almost thinking about finishing it this off camera, but, eh. No, maybe I will. I'm going to stop this here. Oh, oh boy. <sighs> Meow. Meow. Gloria loves that camera. What do you want? Hey, who's a good pussy cat? With a big tail? To get a busha? Eh? Hey? <laughs> Alright, so I got her done. Um There you go, I got her done there. I figured you don't you didn't need to, to see me uh you know finishing uh this whole uh parking lot there in like for fifteen minutes or whatever it took me to do. And I was enjoying listening to some uh, sort of a Christmas special on CBC Radio 1. Anyway, guys, that's it. So uh, just remember, uh, you know, uh, drawing, uh, like a lot of things, doesn't come uh, easy at first. And uh, remember the expression, practice makes perfect. Where's my camera going out of focus? Hmm? Right, Maria? And... Uh, you know, if uh, by any chance uh, you're in Montreal or you're near Montreal or you're coming to Montreal and, uh, you know, you want to get this as a gift for somebody last minute, well, today is Thursday and uh, today is December 20th, so you got a few days. And uh, make me a reasonable offer. I mean, seriously, I'm not going to sell this for 20 bucks, but I mean, uh, well, let's just say, um, you know, something a little bit more than that, eh? Anyway. So there you go, one of a kind drawing and uh, making me uh, long for summer. What do you think, Gloria? Hmm? You like it? Gloria? Meow. Hey, you cat. Hmm? You want to say bye to the people? You want some food? She always wants food. Okay, guys, bye bye.